Hello, friends, and welcome to the Conscious Coping Club. I'm Lori Sharp Page, and I'm bringing my expertise as a psychotherapist, my baggage as a human, and my hunch that learning how to cope is going to be a lot more fun when we do it together. This week on the Conscious Coping Club, we're talking about the resource of rage rooms. All that and more on this week's episode of the Conscious Coping Club. Bum, 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 bum. Have you ever felt so overwhelmed that you just wanted to smash something? Well, you're not alone. I know that feeling. I know that feeling right now. And there's an actual place that you can go to do that in a safe and controlled way. Let's talk about the thrilling and cathartic coping resource of rage rooms. What are rage rooms? Well, rage rooms are also known as smash rooms, and they're designed spaces where individuals can vent their frustrations and anger by breaking objects safely in an environment that's not going to cause you any type of real property damage or serious safety risk. That's right, you can shatter glass, bash electronics, hammer objects without consequences, all while wearing protective gear, of course. And this is not a coping skill I would recommend that you try at home. This is really a good one to go somewhere, do it safely, and not have to worry about the cleanup afterwards. Now, of course, the idea for rage rooms isn't entirely new. For decades, people have sought physical outlets for their emotion, particularly anger. You know, things like punching bags to sports. Physical exertion has long been a method for emotional release. However, the contemporary concept of rage rooms can be traced back to Japan in the early 2000s. With increasing light pressures and limited spaces to express frustration, these rooms provided a novel escape. Their popularity skyrocketed globally as people realized the therapeutic value of uninhibited physical release. The science behind it is pretty clear. Physical activities, especially those involving high intensity, trigger the release of endorphin, the body's natural painkillers. These chemicals produced by the brain promote feelings of pleasure and relieve stress and distress, what you're feeling when you're angry. When you combine the physical act of smashing with the symbolic release of breaking objects associated with frustration or anger in your life, you create a powerful, cathartic experience for yourself. Additionally, these rooms offer a controlled environment to physically express emotion. Sometimes with anger, we feel like we're going to be completely out of control. And it can be nice to say, this is where I'm going to experience my anger today and know that I'm safe in doing so. Because often it's suppressing intense emotions that can lead to mental health complications, not the expression of them. Rage rooms provide an outlet that's both safe and satisfying. And while it's not a substitute for professional treatment or intervention, it's an excellent supplement for those who find relief in physical expression. And so while there's an undeniable enjoyment in letting loose in a rage room, it's crucial to remember it's just one tool in our dynamic coping toolbox. And like any tool, its efficacy varies from person to person, experience to experience. For some, this could be a game changer. For others, it's just a fun way to blow off steam. And you may be thinking, I'll never do that. But regardless, if you're even slightly interested, I'd go give it a chance. I'm sure going to. I'm looking forward to experience the rush and relief that's going to happen when I let my anger play out in such a destructive but structured way. And as always, balance this kind of release with introspection, understanding, and other strategies to ensure your holistic well-being. And in the meantime, just know it's okay to go and bang it out if you do so in a safe and structured environment. That's all for this week's episode of the Conscious Coping Club. Thank you for joining me on this journey to conscious coping. Make sure to like and follow for more great coping content. And join us at ConsciousCoping.club, where we navigate the labyrinth of life together with curiosity, compassion, and community. And remember, until next time, don't just cope, consciously cope.